a wind tunnel? How is a wind tunnel used as a measuring tool? Why is the SR-71 an ideal research test plane? Hi, Jennifer. Hi. Hi, Van. Hey, am I telling you might be having an aerodynamics problem with your vehicle? We do. Well, let me welcome you to my department, the Advanced Measurements in Diagnostics Branch. Here we make tools to measure the performance of an aircraft in a wind tunnel. Now, a wind tunnel, is, is that just like a big fan? Well, let me explain what a wind tunnel is and how we use it to measure aerodynamic forces like draft. A wind tunnel is a device consisting of an enclosed passage to which air is driven by a fan. The heart of a wind tunnel is the test section, in which a scale model is supported in a controlled airstream that flows about the model, duplicating the air of the stream of a full-scale aircraft. We use different techniques to measure aerodynamic forces. Things like flow visualization, use smoke, and a laser light sheet. Sometimes we use oil or water instead of air and streams of dye to watch the vortices and other unusual phenomena. Surface deformations, such as wind flexing, can affect drag. Here at NASA Langley, one instrument that we designed projects a pattern laser light onto a surface of a model being studied. Later we compare photographs and measure the differences in the pattern light. These differences show changes in the shape of the wing surface that might be disrupting the airflow. We call this turbulence. Data are collected during the testing and checked for accuracy. Speaking of accuracy, it is not until an aircraft is flight tested in the real world that design efficiency can be fully verified. NASA does most of its flight testing at NASA Dryden and California Mojave Desert. As an aeronautical engineer at NASA Dryden Flight Research Center, I'm interested in all the measurements that are made during test and flight research missions. Blackbirds are the world's fastest and highest flying jets. They cruise along at speeds over 2,000 miles per hour at heights over 24 kilometers or above 80,000 feet. That's so high that when I look out the airplane's window, the sky seems to be darker, even during the daylight. The SR-71's unique capabilities make it an ideal platform for aeronautical research and experiments that are beyond the reach of any other jet. All of these data, plus reports from the pilots, are compared with computer, wind tunnel, and flight simulator information so that engineers will understand exactly what is happening with the design.